All right, guys, welcome back to part three. Now, this is Dana with Creatively Creative Crochet, and we are working on C2C. So far, we've done the beginning, then part two, we worked on adding color, and now we're going to go ahead and decrease. Now, if you're freestyling and you're going to have some fun, get to your widest point, how wide you would love for your blanket to be, or your pillow. I'm thinking my next thing I'm going to work on is making a pillow to have some fun. Now, if you're following me and you realize that your work um, is not as snug as this, and you want it to be a little bit more snug, you can do a couple different things. One can be changing your hook size. You can go down to a different size hook, especially if you're following a pattern. It may call for a certain size and you realize that it is still not where you want it to be. You can go down a size or if you don't want to do double crochet, you can change to half double crochet. Now, many patterns use half double crochet, so there's a way to do it that way as well. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and do double crochet. So it's just really up to you. Again, like I said, if you're following a certain pattern and they want you to use half double crochet or they want you to do a certain thing, I definitely still recommend chaining five to start because it does look a lot better when you begin your chains. Um, and definitely slip stitching instead of chaining one. So you'll see what I mean. We are doing a pattern, but definitely do it your way. What's what feels more comfortable, what gives you the better um, ending product. So let's go ahead and start decreasing. Um, now, this is just a little something to do. Um, it's not really hard, but it's going to be a little bit different. And you'll notice that instead of us increasing by a block, um, we're going to be decreasing by a block. So let's go ahead and count what we have. Now you may have a different amount than I have. So just go ahead and count your blocks. Two, four, six, and I have seven blocks going across. So let's go ahead and decrease. Now to decrease, we're just going to chain one and we're going to turn our work to the left. Now, in every stitch that we have, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. And I'm probably just going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. What we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch across the top of our stitches. So we're going to slip stitch in that first one, slip stitch in that second, and slip stitch in that third. And we're going to also slip stitch in that chain stitch that we've been working on that whole time. So slip stitch, slip stitch in that one there. And now we're going to work our first stitch. Okay, so in order to decrease, we're basically not working in that first block. So we're going to go ahead and chain two, which is two. And then we're going to go ahead and do our three double crochets. Alrighty guys, so it's super simple. We're just leaving out, sorry about that, taking my time a little bit. Um, we're just leaving out this first one. This is no longer going to be a stitch for us or a block for us. We basically cut that one off. So in order for us to do that, we just slip stitch across instead of us working there. We just go ahead and slip stitching and ignoring that one. That one is now off. We're no longer going to go there. When we begin, we're going to be going into this one. So let's just go ahead and let me share with you. I don't want to get any confusing. You just, as long as you follow that spot, we're all going ahead and we're going to continue going. Now we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into that second space. We're going to do the same thing we've been doing, guys, which is super simple. Slip stitching into the, that chain two space. And then we're going to chain two. And we're going to do three double crochets into this same space. All right, guys. So just do that just like so. Do our three double crochets. Then we're going to slip stitch here. And then we're going to chain two. And then we're going to do three double crochets. Okay. One. Two. And three. Now we're going to go ahead and slip stitch in that next one. And we're just going to continue this same pattern down, guys. As you know, this is what we've been doing, and I chained three. I don't know why, but I meant to chain two, guys, so sorry about that. We're going to just chain two, and we're going to do three double crochets in that same space. And I'm going to be sharing with you what we do when we get to the end. So just keep going on. If you guys want, I'm thinking about just doing a pattern on my next video, if you guys want me to. 
So let me know because I think I'm going to do like maybe make a pillow if you guys want to have some fun. Like a little square pillow, nothing big. But if you just want to follow along with me, I'll upload, the, I'll upload a pattern for maybe someone that we all can work with. Something simple and then do a, um, we can work together doing it. Or maybe I'll go live and we can do it. Whatever one you want to do, guys. So let's go ahead and slip stitch in that next one. And this is the second to the last, guys. So we're just going to work in that one, which is a chain two and three doubles there. One, two, and three. All righty. And now I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch. So when we come to that last one, if we're in our decreasing part, guys, we decreased right here in that front one, right? Now, when we get to that last one, we're just going to do a slip stitch into that stitch, into that chain two space that we always slip stitch in. But we're going to finish there. We're not going to work a chain two and then do uh, three doubles. We're not going to do that anymore. We're done with our row. So now we are done. And let's count our, let's count our blocks now. Let me zoom back out a little bit. And we're going to count our blocks. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we went down, we decreased by one. Like I said in the beginning, we increased, every row was increasing by one. And when we decrease, we decrease by one. So there we go, we did our first row of decrease. Now let's go ahead and begin again. And in order to begin again, guys, we're just gonna chain one, like so. We're gonna turn our work, and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back in a little bit again so we can see what we're doing. And we chained our one. And now we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch. There goes our first stitch we're going to slip stitch in. There's our second. And here's our third. We're slip stitching over those double crochets that we do. And then we're going to slip stitch right into that chain space. Now we're going to work on our next block. So the chain two. And now we're just going to go ahead and do three. Now if we do this right, guys, we should end up with a total of five blocks in this row. Okay, so we did our three. And now we're going to go ahead and slip stitch right in that chain two space like we've been doing, guys. And we're going to continue with the same thing, which is a one and a two. Now we're going to do three inside of there. One. Two. And three. Now we're going to continue along with that same pattern. Chaining two, slip stitching, chaining two. And we're just going to do our same thing as we get there. Okay, which is three double crochets in that same spot. Okay. And I hope you can see me really well. I don't want to be too zoomed in, but I don't want to be too far now, as we go, we're going to slip stitch right there. And as you can see, it's lining up really well. And we're going to chain two. And we're going to do our doubles right here. Okay? One. Two. And three. All righty, guys. And let me pull a little bit of yarn to keep myself, to make sure we have plenty to work with. And then we're going to go ahead and slip stitch. We're continuing the same exact pattern, guys. And this is one, two, and then we're going to do three here. Okay. Two. And three. There we go. Now we have reached our last one. And to, in order not to get uh, kind of worried about which one is last, which one is not, um, we remember that we slip stitched over these. So this one does not count anymore, and this one is our last stitch. So in our last stitch, we're just going to slip stitch. Remember, in our last stitch, we're not going to work any double crochets or any chains or any of that. We're just slip stitching only. Now we're done with that row, and if we did this correct, we should have five blocks. So I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five. So we're doing it right, guys. Now, if you look at it, we begin to see that it is kind of squaring off a little bit. This is decreasing. It's going to be nice and even. So let's go ahead and chain one. And let's turn our work. 
And now again, we're doing another decrease row, guys. And so if we're doing a decrease row, this should turn out to be four rows or four blocks, I should say, into this row. So let's go ahead and slip stitch in that first one. Slip stitch in that second one. Slip, slip stitch in that third. And now let's go ahead and slip stitch in our space that we'll be working in. Just like so. Chain two. And then you know what we're doing. We are doing three double crochets, guys. And like I said before, guys, if you choose that you do, if you want to do your half doubles, whatever looks neater to you. If your half, if your double crochets don't look as neat, um, you make one, like I said, go down the hook size. If not, just go ahead and do um half double crochet, whatever you choose. Next, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to slip stitch into that chain two space. And we're going to chain two. Again, like I said, we should have four blocks. We're doing three double crochets here. And we should have four blocks once we're done. Okay. There's one. We're doing that one. Let's slip stitch in that chain two space of our next stitch. Let's chain two. And let's do three more doubles. Okay. Do three more doubles here. I have two of them and I need one more. Okay. Next, we're going to slip stitch here. Okay. And then we're going to do our chain two. And then we're going to do three doubles. Alrighty, guys. Got two of them. Now we need one more. Alright, guys. Now this is our last stitch. Alright. This is our last one. So what we're going to do is just slip stitch there. I hope you guys can see me. I don't want it to be too bright, but I want you guys to see me. Um, we're just going to slip stitch into that chain two space. All right. And then we're going to be done with that row. Okay. So now that we're done with this row, we're going to go ahead and count and make sure we have our four. Let's see. One, two, three. Four. Perfect. It is coming out right, guys. So now we're going to chain one and we're going to turn and we're going to slip stitch across those doubles that we just did, which it should be three of them. So it's one, it's two, and that's three. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and slip stitch in our chain two space and let's go ahead and chain two. And let's go ahead and do three doubles. See, it's very simple, guys. Not hard at all. We're just decreasing down. And we're going to create, this row should have a total of three blocks in it. We just slip stitch in that chain two space. We're going to chain two. And then we're going to go ahead and do our three double crochets in that same space. All right, guys, that's all we're doing. Something really simple. And now let's go ahead and go in the next one, which is going to be a slip stitch in our chain two space. And then we're going to go ahead and chain two. Then we're going to go ahead and do three double crochets. Super simple. All right. And now we're at our last stitch. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to slip stitch and we're going to be done with that row. And we should have three blocks. One, two, three. I'll be back and we'll continue on. All right, guys, I'm back. And I wanted to change colors and I wanted to share with you guys a part of changing colors when it comes to decreasing. It's a little bit different um, just because we want it to be, we don't want to slip stitch across this in a different color. And let's go ahead and go ahead and let me share with you what I'm talking about. So we're still decreasing. So we're going to chain one. Then we're going to go ahead and slip stitch across just like so. One, two. And now this is the third one because this is our third double crochet. We're slip stitching over. And now what we're going to do is slip stitch into this one. But what we're going to do is this is where we're going to change colors. So we're going to, um, this is where we're going to cut our yarn. So cut it and leave it a little bit of room, a little wiggle room. 
Okay, so after you cut your yarn, just like so, you're going to grab your color. Okay, so let's grab our color, whatever color you choose. I'm still working with my green, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to attach your yarn. All right, and remember, you are inserting your, before you attach it, just go ahead and insert it into your chain two space, just like you're going to slip stitch. And you're going to attach your yarn, your second yarn, into your first one, whatever change you're doing. Just like so. Okay. And I like to, like I said, I like to do a good knot. And so now I have my yarn, my new yarn here added. And I'm going to go ahead and continue on and finish up that slip stitch. So there we go. So that's what you do when it comes to um, doing a decrease and you want to add your yarn and you don't want a slip stitch because it can be unflattering if you're slip stitching across in a different color. So that's how you're going to do that. And then you're going to go ahead and continue on. You're going to just chain two and you're going to work your three double crochets. Now this one we should end in a total, sorry about that. This one we should end in with uh, a total of two blocks. So let's go ahead and do our three double crochets in this one. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna slip stitch here. And then we're gonna go ahead and chain two. And we're going to do our three double crochets, which is one, this is two, and this is three. All right, guys, as you see, we already have our two. So we know our row is just about done because all we have to do is slip stitch right into this last block. And then that will be it. Now we just have to finish with one more block. And guess what? We'll be done with this tutorial, guys. And let's go ahead and do that. So let's chain one and let's go ahead and slip stitch across. So let's slip stitch in that first double crochet the second one and this is the third one guys now let's slip stitch in that chain two space and let's work our chain two and our three double crochets this is our last one guys we made it two and let's do one more all right guys i'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch in that last chain two space we've been working in. And guess what? We are done. All you're going to do is snip that off, fasten it off, and weave in your ends. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see how we did. This is our work. And then you would always, um, for most people, they like to do a border. It can be a single crochet border. It can be a half double. It can be a double. Whatever you choose. Um, some people don't do borders. Um, it's just really up to you. This is what you would look like if you made, if you kept going and increasing. You could have a blanket. You could have a pillow. Um, you could even use this as a nice coaster. Um, this is probably some type of sport team color. You can use it as a coaster or whatever you choose. Um, you can make it double thickness. Use a wool or some type of cotton. And make hot pads. You choose what you want to do, guys. So again, I thank you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want me to do more, like how to read patterns on this, let me know. I'll definitely do that. And until next time, thanks for watching. Love ya.